Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. October 9th, 2022. Um, my name is Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the Bear Podcast of Indeterminate Length, episode number... Hmm, I'm not sure if I should say it. We could each say a number. All right. Uh, I'll start. Six. 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 Okay, everything's fine. (laughs) (laughs) No thunderclaps, no lightning, no puffs of smoke. Uh, We didn't invoke anything. No no little Nas X doing a a twerking moment. Yeah, yes. No slipping down a fucking um, (laughs) stripper pole to hell. And some of us... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to, uh, to to some people in the world think we're going to hell anyway. So hey, there we I go. I mean, where where is it? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna first start by saying this could be considered a hostful news update, but I think we're now following all those hostful news updates to. Yes, I swear. The yes. first couple seconds of that, I was like, "Water sports." <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was not the one who picked this sound clip. <laughs> who picked the right. sound clip? Huh? Huh? But if you're not ready for it, it sounds like someone taking a leak. <laughs> you, you for- <laughs> so, so you saw. Did you did you see see in our video Damon doing no well, maybe you can't because I'm doing the whole screen share thing the Damon doing the like pouring and and me going oh. yeah I saw both of you yeah, I was so more disturbed we... by you throwing your head back and opening your mouth but that was another issue I mean that's a <sighs> moving on <All> right. <laughs> so girl uh, Gary. <laughs> Uh, tell me, what tea are you spilling today? Well, um, it, so, yeah, I don't know if we've done away with completely with Hulsful News updates, but so, yeah, Altito Shade. Word online is that Tumblr changed their per, their permissions, uh-huh. not quite terms and conditions, to allow adult content. Uh-oh. What? So does this mean there's a second chance for Triple X Tumblr to return? And will people leave Twitter? Like, so let's chew on that. Will they go back? So, well, right. And so uh That's where you're coming with the LT no shade. I well, I feel like we should have a very frank discussion about it. This might be a very <laughs> I don't know. Nope, I'm not going to say it because I because it always like Murphy's law doesn't work out that way. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, like I, I just I, I call shenanigans. And Already? oh, yeah, well, if you read the articles that I mm-hmm. linked. Yeah. And also the Tumblr adult content help slash FAQs page. Uh, like there were there was a lot of quick speculation, but what wait, wait what amused me the most on Twitter is the amount of people that were like, "I went to Tumblr, it's still a problem." I logged out. <laughs> like, 
mm. like, like, like they <laughs> thought that magically Tumblr was going to change, like with a finger snap. Like, and like look, we were going to see all of the scene again. None Just, of like, that. That's not David. how it works. This is this is no shade. No shade fans I, today. See, I think it's shady to be call it like they literally be like in mm, out <laughs> like like. Eh. Nah. Well, I think it's I think it's shady that <laughs> me calling out people being like I checked it out. It's it, okay. So I should I'm really like, that's not how it works. I should be really be blaming Gary for the shade. Okay, got it. There we go. Yeah, right. it's just it. Oh, how do I put this simply? Like I don't fault Tumblr for this. I don't know how well the platform's been doing. Um, do I still have an account? Yeah, I never deactivated mine. I chose not to. But I have noticed over the years of of getting back on there and just occasion, every once in a while doing something that mm-hmm. there's not a whole lot there anymore. I mean, again, I'm not just talking about porn, but again... That's probably what I mostly followed. So maybe that's why I'm not seeing as much. Um, I mean, I will, yeah, I will see a few things here and there, but because uh, there was stuff I wasn't necessarily following that was porn, but um, I was still finding it. It was still there. Um, like if you follow a few, like me or a few people, like in our, circles yeah, circles um they're they're still posting things now it's mostly like the occasional probably the <laughs> to be blunt it's probably pictures that have been taken from twitter of someone and then posted onto tumblr are mm-hmm. someone actually randomly occasionally posting things kind of cross all social platforms as it were but the, the the most part it didn't really go that far away. You have the obligatory this is mature sensitive contact blah 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 like so you have to click that before you actually go to look at the channel mine included. But uh, other than that, it it's been there's been a little, and that hasn't really changed in the past. What what this happened on the 26th or 29th. Yeah, somewhere around there. Um, yeah. So there are two articles that kind of talked about this. I was surprised there wasn't more online articles, but I think it, I hate to say it, it was a flash in the pan. Mm-hmm. Like, and we're, and this episode coming out, what it is, is a little behind the times because this happened right after Damon, you and I were in Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's already been almost a couple of weeks, but so one article is from the verge. Another article is mashable. Um, I think mashables is the shorter of the two uh, and pretty succinct, but so really what it comes down to is Tumblr is initiating a new thing called community labels and individuals can label their content. If it falls into one of three categories, And by doing so, content is going to have a lot of, like, filtered viewing options for end users. Like, one of the aspects is, I don't know if they've put it into place, but I guess they're planning on rolling out um, date of birth verification requirements for all accounts. So, in theory, your DOB is going to drive what content you can see, and adult things will not show up until you turn 18. Mm. is is the theory um but even then there's differences between adult and mature content and kind of what falls within that category right so um from the verge article there's a a, an inset kind of quote about the statement that was made from automatic ceo matt mullenweg which um in pre-show we were discussing um, Automatic, which is a company I never heard of before, actually now has Tumblr, but they also have WordPress. So they're they're kind of a conglomerate, like major deal. Um, but the 
quote says, community labels are our first step towards making sure that everything is appropriately tagged on Tumblr so that people are not exposed to content they do not want to see or are not legally allowed to see. The response has been great so far, and I'm very excited that a fuller range of artists will be able to appropriately tag and protect their art and work. App Store policies, particularly Apple's, still mean that we need to take extra steps to make sure that anything tagged isn't available to younger users and you need to explicitly opt in to make sure it shows up. Right. And then it says in parentheses, that's why we're collecting birthdays now. And it goes on, we haven't updated the official content policies yet, but hope to bring them more in line with our policies on WordPress.com soon. Mm. So, and as a reminder, the article kind of says, Tumblr has struggled with moderation since a contentious 2018 ban on adult content, which sent shockwaves through the uh, site's user base. Um, and we actually talked about that in a previous episode. It'll take me a moment to pull that up. Um, keep, keep going, I'll find it. But I think we called it R.A.P. Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, R.A.P. Tumblr porn number 490. It was in December of 2018. So we're almost four years out. And yes, a large amount of us migrated over to Twitter because Twitter has been reasonable with what you can see. Right. Um, but that is changing as well. Right. Yeah. So I mean, it, Twitter's not as bad because they haven't stopped really blocked per se anybody from doing anything. They've just been flagging it and just making people press another button. Yeah, but their flagging is not consistent yeah nor is it um reliable it might like, be I'm mostly, just gonna... mostly machine or something so yeah. not everything oh absolutely it's it's also kind of annoying that now i think i saw a screenshot today that someone posted so an an innocuous non-adult non like you know issue causing post got flagged automatically and the person said twitter done called me a and then this is the word that they bleeped on themselves, which is faggot, <laughs> for this mm. post. And it wasn't until the nature. It was about the fact that they were, I think, at a thrift store or at a record shop. And they picked up the newest Beyonce album on vinyl. And they were like, <laughs> the look on your face, David. Um, so, <laughs> like, I was like, but I was amused by the fact that they were calling out that Twitter called them out. And, they, and they're seeing it as funny and saying that Twitter's basically calling them a faggot uh, because they're posting about the fact that they bought a Beyonce actual vinyl album. But wow. what's interesting is in the screenshot in the second paragraph, I think it says something like, we know we don't always get it right. Mm. And I was like, that's a problem. Yeah. Like the yeah. fact that you have to post that in your own violation yeah. guideline notification, yeah. it's like your preemptive way of saying, we know we fuck up. But here you go. But we're still going to do it out of caution. Like, yeah. As, some, as, as someone who has been posting, you know, a couple of things um, on Facebook or not Facebook. I was looking at Facebook <laughs> on Twitter, um, especially recently. It's been rather annoying. I'll use annoying for now because that's kind of what it is for me right now mm -hmm. that I'll put it like this. Someone show, says, um, show me your belly or show me your thing on, 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 show me your belly on, on Twitter. And they have a picture of their, you know, belly and all that stuff. And all these people are posting things. I throw one of mine up and all of a sudden, oh, this violates, da, 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 da. And we've, we've, you know, pre basically preemptively blocked your post on Twitter. And I was like, but what about all these other bitches like right up here? Like, like, do you not see all of these? Right. But that's just it. Like the, 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 I think the automatic screening or whatever you want to call it is not catching yeah, everything, quote unquote, or whatever. And maybe it's possible if you've violated once or quote unquote, or posted something that might be adult, they keep an eye on you for lack of a better phrase or something along those lines. And when you post something that might be adult themed or nude themed or close to it, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It just, it, it's again, like I said, right now it's more annoying than anything else. It does again for, as Jeff was saying, it doesn't necessarily 
like remove it, it just blurs it out completely. And then you have to show it, um, hit the show button. So yeah. it's a little, and I'm okay with that personally. Yeah. So I just and like, oh, they, they, it was like, well, oh, well. And this is the thing that I, I find interesting. Right. But this is the thing I find interesting. What Tumblr is attempting to do, which Twitter is not at the moment appears, or at least it's not working on Twitter. Tumblr is saying by putting these tags on, mm-hmm. once this is all installed and the tags are in place and you do your DOB like age verification in your settings, you can tell Tumblr not to block and not to like hide not to obfuscate like or any of that stuff yeah so you wouldn't have to click another button you don't have to like do anything it will all show up in your feed like you would want it to and i will say this much um i'm just looking at i just jumped onto twitter or god damn it they both have t's tumblr (laughs) um just kind of look at things and there is a thing here where you can verify your birthday and I was going to show you guys but I may have to do it after show Um, I can't change my year on my birthday I can change the month and I can change the day but I cannot change the year and it literally says like it says here some content mate can only be viewed quote some content can only be viewed if you're old enough we will never share your birthday with other users you can't change your birthday after entering it. And that's in bold. So I can't change my year. And I don't know if I, you know, it, it, it I have maybe when the thing first began, I put a year in, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, I cannot change it. It's got a lock on it and it's darkened. So I can't really change it. Um, in addition, as I scroll further down, just as I kind of have been looking, I now see the community labels. And it says control how you see certain topics across Tumblr. And it has mature. So we haven't talked about these. Um, Mm -hmm. Mature. And it has three columns. And it says show, blur, and hide. And then you've got mature, you've got drug and alcohol addiction, You've got violence and you have sexual themes. And then additionally, it has a toggle and it has hide additional, hide additional potentially mature content. And it just reading this here, it says by default, we hide potentially mature content in the iOS app. Posts that use tags related to mature content will be hidden and blogs marked mature will have a prompt before viewing. So I'm going to unmark that part at least, <laughs> that, and then, you know, uh, I'll do some of these other ones really quickly because I'm being, uh, just being, I'm just curious how this will affect how I start use Tumblr in the future. Um, I feel like in terms of the year thing. And maybe there is, and it'll not during the show, but might take some investigation to like look through mm-hmm. yeah. and reach out to them and be like, "Hey, like I'm not sure how and when this happened, but can mm-hmm. I provide you with like photo ID proof of what my DOB is, yeah, so that I can get this officially changed or something? You know what I mean? Because I would like to keep this account. Yeah, like it's off by a a year. Um. What's saved there is not the current year, right? Uh, not the actual year I was born in. Um, uh, but um, it is, I think, connected to my Google account, which I just checked and to see if it has my birthday there, and it does, and that has the accurate birthday there. So that's where I'm kind of like, confused concern because i'm like if if it's because what i'm concerned with mm-hmm. as it kind of mentions you can only change it once so if i change it and then they do a like automatic or automated system check and they check it to another date and that's wrong by a year that they'll deactivate the, t- the t- tumblr account yeah because it's not right so so i went into my tumblr settings to check and uh 
it didn't have a date for me, but I was able to change the year. I don't know why you weren't able to change the year. Uh, and it says you're confirming that your birthday is blah, 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 is accurate. If Tumblr determines at any point that this information is inaccurate, your account may be permanently closed. You can only confirm your birthday once. Right. Uh, mm. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, if anything, I mean, yeah, this doesn't help you, yeah. Damon. Um, yeah. But um, I mean, you only have one birthday. <laughs> yeah. So as long as well, you put in your actual birthday, then you should be okay. So you, yeah, yours right. I would probably be like, hey, uh, I, I mean, never did this until you did this. So um, I need, I'm trying to change you and for some reason I can't. Yeah, I will probably before like, actually was confirming a, it. Yeah, there's a there's a there was a help next to it. I may click it like again off the show or sometime later. It's not as important to me right now um, to like try and figure it all out. But um, it 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 gives me a concern because of the fact that I know that the date is not correct, the year is not correct, and anything that I have available would say differently even like facebook or i think even Tum twitter i think i still have i have my actual birthday in there anyway no it's just it's again but with all of this being said i think i don't i don't know how i feel about the whole community labels part Mm -hmm. Actually, I do know how I feel. I don't like it. Um, okay. I just don't. I I understand the reasoning behind it. But I don't know how well it will be used, first of all. And who is, um, is if, if it's up to the user, so me, to say this is that or this is the other or this is the other one, who's to say if I don't, what happens if I don't say anything? Does it get flagged and then I have to mark it as such and it, so that it'll be seen or does it just get removed? What happens? Mm -hmm. You have questions. I have lots of questions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, 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 I agree with your questions. They're great questions. Uh, I like it as a step. Uh, it it basically is helping the communities, uh, the Tumblr community, basically self moderate. If you add the label, it will make sure that only the appropriate audiences can see the appropriate content. The content. Um, uh -huh. The question I think it was mentioned in one of the the articles, or some people noting what would be if people are putting porn even though they're under sexual themes, which is mm -hmm. one of their, their three mature categories. Um, is that is that still okay, or is are we still following under erotic, which might not, e which some people say, erotic suggestions does not equal porn. And I'm like, well, I question that thought. Right, but with Tumblr, like, they've banned adult content which is defined as more explicitly sexual than mature content, which allows for things like written erotica or sexually suggestive material. And this is from the, the Verge article. So one of the things that gets quoted is saying that um, mature content, that this policy or, or like Tumblr could mirror WordPress.com, which allows mature content while still banning visual depictions of sexually explicit acts. Uh, basically, Tumblr still, Tumblr still can't be a place for porn. So, basically, that means that nothing's changing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is why the Mashables article cracked me up, because the very first thing it says is, don't get too excited. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of where I'm, uh, the other side of where I'm at with this is just like, <sighs> it doesn't feel like anything is going to be different. It right. doesn't necessarily feel like anything's going to be different. You're still going to be able to not see things. You're still going to be like, you know, um, barriers and what have you to keep things away or keep things under wraps. 
Um, but other than that, and these, you know, like I, like you said, Jeff, these are these are great first steps to like moderate, you know, the content that's going out there. But will that mean people like like will that mean people will start adding things up there and it'll come what it was before, where we can start doing the I'll tumble for years again? I don't think so. Well, so what I find interesting about this whole announcement thing, this is kind of like I think my one of my final thoughts, famous last words, is the announcement noted that, quote, porn bots are still not welcome, end quote. And so it, it, that seems like a very specific call out. Yeah. That was being made about the Tumblr changes. And I don't know how else to phrase it. It kind of feels like automatic might be saying this is a problem. It is a known problem and we have not solved it yet. Mm. So there's a part of me that's like, well, maybe that means for content creators, if you follow the, the rules is the best way I can phrase it. Mm -hmm. You can post. Right. So like, Maybe you can post your just for fans or only fans. I think everyone's pretty much moved to only fans. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or your original stuff like directly from your device or, or whatever. Um, and you can link to other sites, other locations, mm -hmm. because Tumblr does not intend to become a porn depository do you know what i mean like and twitter's kind of done the same thing they've limited the amount of a length of time a video clip can be so right. um yeah i i find that interesting and yet at the same time i'm like i really don't know enough about this whole like porn bot concept and what it is and how it works and you know why it is a problem i mean i, I can imagine it is but I, I just don't know enough about it so for me i'm like mm, that seems pointed not that i'm saying that there's a potential but at this point, I guess my bigger question to the two of you is, we're four years out. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, three years, ten months, whatever. Um, Close enough. Do we care now that we have Twitter? So, oh, gosh. Um, I will say no and yes. Mm. <laughs> because No, because... It, you know, everyone kind of, you know, a lot of people fled and Twitter, you know, especially afterwards and even before then was very much free to kind of like you were very, it was very open and you can find it, you know, everywhere. Um, the adult content, the mature content, whatever you want to call it, the stories, the, the art, whatever. However, we are noticing that Twitter is changing their stuff too. Right. You know, they've added this, this, you know, the blur, you know, the blur. they've added the, uh, I think they've even added, like they've added circles. They recently did that. So you could kind of share things with just a certain, you know, group of people. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, just before all of that kind of went down recent with recently, there was, I think there was a big issue when, was it Elon Musk was, was thinking of purchasing Twitter? Is that what it was? Am I getting that right? right. I don't right. think and the that's... Elon Musk thing would necessarily, necessarily be <laughs> anything we're about I, against the, the. I, I'm just going on Twitter. what. I'm just going on what there I was remember when it happened, when it right. happened. No, no, no. So like on the Elon front, I think there's two things. One is I think maybe Jeff, what you were saying is him owning Twitter. Is not going to change like the porn aspect of things? Cause apparently Elon's concept is like, it's just going to be the wild, wild west baby, like, and everything's going to be allowed. So in theory, it'll probably open up more question mark. But the second <laughs> part is, is like, we just saw the second round where like he was going to purchase and then he decided to back out. And like, there was all this reaction because that was the yeah. point. 
Yeah. Um, so people were like, you know, oh my God, blah, 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 this and that. You know, and then apparently just this past week or two weeks ago, he was like, oh, I'm, you know, renegotiating on the purchase, which of course, you know, riles people up. But then apparently one of the main financial backers backed out and was like, nope, we're not going to give you the money. So to me, I'm just kind of like, whatever. I don't have time for this. Like, right. This it's like just, there were, amusement there were other park ride. It of, came to Elon Musk from buying Twitter. Well, yeah. right. And I think that was the bigger issue was that the the owner was the problem for people. It's like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you are, to quote Brittany, toxic. And so don't want to be affiliated with you. And then you start doing this like bargaining with the devil thing. Like, you know, that do you use a platform? Do you support a thing because of what you get out of it and yet at the same time it's problematic mm, baby so it's interesting um potentially yeah. what the the outcomes could be but you know in the end i'm kind of like eh. yeah it, yeah like i said it just feels it would be nice it sounds weird but it's it would be nice to have a backup just in case but at that same time though I don't think people are going to mind too much, if that makes sense. Like Tumblr, if Tumblr becomes, goes back to its older ways, or comes to like some kind of hybrid where, um, yes, you can post things, but you kind of have to like filter it or whatever, then I I could see people, like I've had, you know, we've had friends um, who have posted that, they do like the concepts that Tumblr had. The 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 format was easier, not easier, was better for what they were doing. Um, and I can understand and respect that. Um, so I don't, I don't like again. I don't foresee a renaissance, resurgence of Tumblr in the near future. Well, and and so for me, I kind of feel like if there was to be a second chance, I feel like it's a coming back from the dead kind of like mm. thing. And that's where I'm like, I just don't know. Like, I, I just logged in while we were talking as well and checked Tumblr and I was like, yep, still have my nine different profiles on my one account. <laughs> haven't touched them in four years now. All that content is just there. Interestingly, someone started following me in the past couple of months. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you could follow, but there's nothing being posted. I'm not planning yeah. on posting anything. Like, I really kind of moved away from that, which is an interesting, like, change of stuff. Because we're old enough to remember, collectively, the micro-blogging renaissance of the mm-hmm. internet. And the different platforms that kind of came and went along those ways. And I think a lot of that is gone now just in general. I I think people use the two main social media platforms. Well, hold on. I'm showing my age. I think people are showing probably the three main ones, those being Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I don't think it's really happening on TikTok because it's a whole different Mm, concept now. Um, like <laughs> blogging our lives, quote unquote, that way. Yeah. But instead of yeah. like writing paragraphs and maybe adding an occasional image, mm-hmm. which is really what like was happening on GeoCities, which was happening on LiveJournal, which eventually came it came over to Tumblr. Like I think a lot of that has faded away, and we're not like going that far and sharing our stuff. We're just yeah. like, here's a picture. Yeah, I think, you know, and maybe this is, whew, this could be a commentary on social media in our lives and how things have gotten shorter to shorten the attention span of the general populace so that things don't, we don't pay attention to everything in a broader stream of things, um, kind of that part, but, um, you know, TLDR is a fucking thing. It has always been. A, it's been a thing, especially recently. Mm-hmm. Not recently. But, you know, we've learned to compartmentalize things, make things shorter, make things more succinct so that we can um, 
digest things quickly and move on, if that makes sense. Um, however, on the flip of that, though, I feel we should go back to engaging in larger, longer conversations and reading deeper into things that we can't normally do with a 250, you know, character Twitter tweet or a, um, a quick, you know, 20, 30 second video, those kind of things. Right. And to, to kind of like reiterate the point, like we're all kind of being like slightly distracted by, you know, other things literally right now. So that kind of, you know, part of it. Yeah, I'm I'm actually feeling a little more satisfied with with my Tumblr feed here than I am with my Twitter feed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am noticing that a certain person has been posting things in the past hour ish. Um, and I'm kind of amused because of like, wow, there seems to be like only two people I'm following right now. Well, that's not true. Maybe three or four. Um, and Will Wheaton is one of them. He never kind of really left the platform, which mm -hmm. I find very interesting. Um, but he also notably wasn't making adult content. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, so, yeah. so he, was, he wasn't really being affected. Yeah. So, um, Will Wheaton. Wow, okay. So I went to go click through on someone's profile on Tumblr that I followed before, and I get this Tumblr may contain sensitive media, and then I click go to my dashboard. I go to my dashboard, and now I get mature content. This content has been hidden due to its potential mature nature, and then I have to click view blog. So, like, we're, we're doing uh, a clickety, clickety, clickety oh, thing just to get to what I wanted to see. Uh, I... I was checking out one guy who, who got reposted and and I uh, clicked on his, got that message, but it just kind of had a pop-up. I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't... It, I don't... It's... Now, notably, all these pictures on this thing that I'm scrolling through... There's one peen. Okay. There's a lot of images that are suggestive or artistic. But there's a lot of pictures of men with shorts on or underwear or a towel or mm -hmm. whatever. Like, it's not actual triple X. It's like mm. one X. <laughs> like, I, I, did, I did see in here uh, someone with a video of fucking. Well, I, I'm not saying that it's not there. I'm just like... Yeah. Huh. Majority of the posts are probably being the suggestive, so it's more the suggestive types. Uh, here's one that's uh, completely naked. Uh, oh, I'm pulling him already. I guess. Yeah, I mean there there are some you know where you're actually seeing peen and stuff, but the vast majority of the stuff that I'm seeing right now is without. Like it's yeah. suggestive. There's emoticons. You know, it's the angle. Yeah. Apparently, butts are perfectly fine. Mm. I like butts. I know, which I was going to say, there's nothing wrong with butts, but... So... Yeah, anyway, so... I just feel like... Was it a, was it a lot of to-do about nothing? Ooh. So that's a question. That is a, that is a question. And I... I, gosh, it's so weird to say, but like, I feel like pe like that's sort of the point sometimes. Like, say something along these lines and get people like engaged and starting to talk about it. And suddenly we're talking about it and it brings more interest eyes on your platform. Right. Are, or are they testing the waters? Also, that. Like, were they tracking the statistics to see how much their content spiked when this mm. stuff went and hit the news to see how many people went to Tumblr to check their profiles? Yeah. Like, I mean, like I said, I just, I've looked at my blog myself, my, my 
feed. And, you know, I did something just earlier and then I realized, oh, I hadn't been on here in a little while. So I went looking through stuff. Kind of same with, you know, I think both of you just kind of like, we hadn't been on here for a while. Let me go check it out. Or we hadn't been here in years. And <laughs> here we are. Right. I find it interesting because I'm looking at one person's profile and about every six to 10 posts is an ad and it's an mm. ad from automatic. Mm. So it's about Tumblr or it's about automatic and it's, you know, um, like oddly, this is their merch shop. Shoelaces are back. Now they're available in perfect in three perfect colors, which I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Whatever. Like <laughs> it seems <laughs> random. Um, but there's been some other posts about, um, uh, I'm gonna have to go find it. Um, yeah. Oh, well, this one is WordPress. Create and update your website anytime, anywhere. Big surprise. Oh. Yeah. Like, I mean, so I'm like, huh, they really kind of changed up that aspect of things. Right. In terms of, you know, now they appear to be the only promotional <laughs> material on the website. Uh, probably because a lot of advertisers left. Well, the more people that come back, the more they might be able to be, be like, hey, people are starting to come back. We got more hits or something like that. Or the content yes. we're seeing is something that that they're like, these are advertisers aren't wanting to. And then if you look at a non-sexually explicit, non-mature blog, you see more regular ads or something. I don't know. Yeah, I find it interesting because one of the ads is long reads, which I think Automatic also owns, where it says no hot takes, no clickbait, just the best stories on the web. And I'm like, hmm, okay, if that works for you. Well, so, here, here's my theory about what will probably end up happening. My prediction. Could be wrong, but uh, my prediction is people are just not going to care that much and no one's going to migrate back. Maybe they'll mm -hmm. dip their toe in. Like, especially those who are people who are basically constant, constantly uh, uh, advertising their OnlyFans or Just for Fans page. Maybe they'll sell, like, cross-post. They'll post on Twitter and they post on Tumblr. Marketing. Uh, but the likelihood that anything's actually going to change since... Yeah, Twitter's doing things, but it feels less invasive. Yeah, you have to click on a button to go and blur a picture. Eh, whatever, right? I, I bet more people are are going to be inclined to to do that. Uh, people have many people have have done the on their sexually explicit. They've done the lockdown where only people they approve, like my box cub is like that. Uh, so there are some controls in that matter. So I, I really think that it's more of, uh, I don't think this is really going to change anything. There might be a little, I, if anything, it's going to be cross posting, but, um, I don't think it's going to change much. I think, yeah. I think they've, they've hit us hard. It's been too long. People aren't going back. Um, I, some, some might, I mean. Maybe a trickle, but it's not going to be like everybody's going to be like, oh, no, you know, all go back to Tumblr. No. Yeah. I only see the mass exodus if Twitter makes some significant changes. Right. And I also, as you kind of, um, oh, it just left my head. Shit. Um, it literally just left my head. Son of a bitch. Because you said something, I was like, oh, yeah, that's kind of true. Um, not the no, never mind. I had I had a so great thought and it literally just flew right out of my head. <sighs> well, close all the windows in your house so it doesn't escape. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I mean I, I think if Twitter were to make a big move and be like, you know, we're we're outright banning adult content, then there will be a, an exodus and perhaps people will go to Tumblr. Maybe they'll return as the possible landing pad for the moment. I don't know. I, I mean, there's a lot to, 
yet to be determined or, or known about that. The downside is, is, you know, this keeps kind of revolving back around to what we've talked about before with the government law situation and the potential of like, you know, financial companies being sued for the content that is on the platform. Right. So I don't know. Yeah. I think, yeah, now I know what it was. I think Gary, the, or not Gary, Jeff, the thing you mentioned about it being too long. Mm. If this had happened in 2020 or maybe 2019, like a year or two later, year or so mm-hmm. after everything happened, I think this we might be like, oh, okay, this is a better idea. Um, this is something that might draw me back because now I can like self moderate and you know make these choices and make these you know make these options available and then uh, post what I want in a sense. Um, but now, you know, three four years later it feels kind of it's not too little but it's too late right well i mean and who knows what is going to come in the next couple of years that too my my hope is that we get other better platforms mm-hmm. now i know i've seen a lot of promotion recently with pillow fort um which was meant to be the t- tumblr replacement years ago it's still there. It's still growing. I think it still operates on an invite, like membership kind of deal um, in how you get an account or something. But I noticed that some of their advertising stuff recently, or at least their marketing seems to be pushing in a, like, we say anything goes. Mm-hmm. I don't know how realistic that is, but I can see the allure of that from a, you know, perspective of trying to gain people. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, we'll so see. Automatic purchase Tumblr in 2019. So it was after the ah. stricter content policy. I thought Verizon it? did. It, or was it, that earlier? It was Verizon. Yeah. So in 2013. Uh, so. Here's here's the full history. In 2013, Yahoo bought Tumblr. Then it was purchased. Uh, Verizon was under. Was oh Verizon acquired Yahoo in 2017. Okay. And placed it in their Oath subsidiary, right. which renamed themselves to Verizon Media Group in 2019. And then. In August of 2019, Verizon sold Tumblr to Automatic. Hmm. I think we all missed the selling to Automatic thing because we left. <laughs> and yeah, because really it was cared. like, it. <laughs> according to Wikipedia, the site, along with the rest of Oath Division, renamed Verizon Media Group in 2019, continued to struggle under Verizon. In March 2019, similar web... Estimated Tumblr had lost 30% of its user traffic since December 2018 when the site had introduced a stricter content policy with heavier restrictions on adult content, which had been a notable draw to the service. Hmm. And in May of 2019, it was reported that Verizon was considered selling the site due to its continued struggles since the purchase. Which okay. is probably a smart move on their part, even though they took a loss. But then again, they probably wrote it off on taxes. So, mm. hashtag Stark. Anyways, okay, yeah. Huh. So, if you have ideas or thoughts, feel free to share. Let us know. Yeah. Interesting discussion. Hopefully, this isn't a jinx on anything, but. Uh, it's probably not going to change anything. Yeah, I, I I can kind of agree with you in a sense, Jeff. I think there's a there. I don't think it's going to be as big a change if if any. It's not. It's going to be either a small, minor change for some people, and then most people don't care. But 
who knows? It dep- again, it depends what the future holds. Like we'll say it like that. Something could make it worthwhile. Maybe. Very right, automatic. <laughs> Prove to us you want us back. Uh, also, uh, I did a reblog of one of the posts I, I was looking at, and I was like, oh, it's easy to add that. Really easy to add that uh, community tag. So, yeah. Besides the point. But you know what? I think that's the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us what you think. What do you think might happen? What's your predictions? Will you return to Tumblr? Will you just maybe visit Tumblr on occasion now? Um, uh, up to you. But uh, tell us what you think. You can do that in many ways, such as going to our website, CubsOutLoud.com, and commenting on the blog. But nobody's really done that, but that's okay. You can also shoot us an email at CubsOutLoud at gmail.com or leave us a voicemail at 361-COL-TALK. That's 361-265-8255. You can follow us on Facebook. You might as well say it. Tumblr. Your Twitter and YouTube at the appropri- with Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. You can join our entourage chat and speak to us directly at tinyworld.com slash telegram dash COL. Uh, if you would like to know when we're planning on recording these shows, you can uh, find that out by subscribing to our Google Calendar at tinyworld.com slash calendar dash COL. You have various uh, Cubs Out Loud accoutrements, uh, such as a consent is my four play shirt, mug, um, hat, although. Not wearing one right now, but we have had. I don't know where my and right now. Gary, Gary's. There we go. There you, go. <laughs> uh, you can do, find that at zazzle at zazzle.com slash cubs out loud. Remember, if you are in another country, you can also go to the appropriate zazzle site of your country and maybe get some cheap prices. I'm not sure how all that works. I'm assuming they just have place vendors in near your location, so everything's a little bit cheaper because you're not shipping from the United States. Uh, some of these designs are designed by Smashy. You can find more of his work at uh, tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy the Bear. If you would like to become a patron, patron, and we thank all of our patrons for their support making this podcast. That sounds familiar. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Uh, if you'd like to just send us a donation, you can do that at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. You can subscribe to us, review us, rate us at many places, such as uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Amazon Audible, and Spotify. Uh, by rating and reviewing us, that uh, kind of uh, pushes up up in the algorithm, which means more people can find us. You can find me anywhere on the internet. It's box, set, box, puppy, box, cub, box, something or other, or windjum, W-Y-N-D-G-E-M, on Twitch, where we where I stream bears and dragons. Uh, we are making a makeup session this week. Um, normally we're every two weeks. Um, but this last week, we, uh, one of our players couldn't come in, so we just skipped a week uh, and are making it up this week. So you'll have two weeks in a row where you'll have bears and dragons. <gasps> ah. and, Demon? Oh. Uh, if you wish to find me, you can find me at Theater Cup 79. That's Theater T H E A T R E C U B 79. Uh, most beer related sites are on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. The Twitter, like my Tumblr, is not safe for work. If you would like to find me, um, you can pretty much look up Gerber73 anywhere online. Uh, and yeah. And with that, take it out, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>